Good day, creative friends. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good week. Um, I've had a week. <laughs> oh, it's always hard to start the voiceovers of videos. I never know what, how to, to make a smooth entry. And for this one in particular, there's very little to explain. And I don't want to sound tutorial-ish either because I don't really do step-by-step -step of my work. But I can tell you, oh, hold on, I need a sip. I'm sitting here at the studio on a Saturday with a nice warm cup of tea. Um, what you're looking at right now is my sketchbook, actually. I've decided to let you in <laughs> a little bit. I usually reserve that for my patrons, but this uh, sketchbook session is somewhat relevant to the art and how the mind can uh, dictate or yeah can dictate to you that you need to shift gears if if things are not working the way you think uh, they should be so uh, this is just a thumbnail that I do in my sketchbook I I'm loving playing in my sketchbook. This is my favorite one. It's a Belvedere one. I'm not sure even where you can get it. I get it at a local library um, bookstore here in Montreal. Uh, it's The paper is made of cotton. It's very thin. It's not made for watercolor, but I love the way the watercolor looks on it. So I, I use it for everything, basically. And I've figured out how I like to organize my sketchbook. Um, I like to make thumbnails and annotate my stuff. Kind of like a, it's almost like an encyclopedia approach. Um, like for instance, this page pleases me. Um, I do color testings. I do, you know, different sketches of what I'm about to paint, and this is where I iron out all the details. And so this is the piece that I intended to do for you today. So very structured, a branch with giant leaves. <laughs> um, and I was fine up until that point. If for some reason, as soon as I started adding color in, and I'm, you're also going to see me add some, um, some ink on the lines, uh, all of a sudden it just started playing tricks on my mind and I didn't like it anymore. Now here's the thing. I recently purchased this ink block with an ink stone and I love the process. So basically you just rub that ink block onto the stone with a tiny bit of water and you make your own ink. And the ink is completely water resistant, which is a bonus. And you can also um, change the intensity of the black. So I could have like a super light gray. And this is where I messed up <laughs> with this piece because I wanted a light gray, but I ended up having a too dark of a black. So um, that was the first thing that went wrong. But the process is really awesome. And also they put perfume in that block and I absolutely love the perfume they put in there. I wish I knew what it is, but oh, it's the sensory experience. It's hard to describe. It's very, dare I say, sensual in a, in a way. <laughs> but um, it's fun to make your own supplies, I guess. Um, yeah, so, you know, eventually I'll decide on scrapping that piece. I mean, I still have it, I think. Did I finish working on it? Sorry, my face is away from the microphone. Uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure that I will f ever finish this piece. This is where I thought, oh, you're trying to do everything all at once. What is this? 
And I didn't know how to talk about this piece. I, it, let's just say it was not what I had in mind. And I started getting frustrated. And I thought, if I'm not having fun, I can only imagine how I'm going to get stuck talking about this piece <laughs> to my lovely people. And um, that's when I decided to take a different approach. There you go. We are shifting gears because we need to learn to be adaptable. <laughs> um, so I decided to do something more spontaneous, which is the kind of work that I used to do. Uh, I want to say a couple years ago, I was more or less doing this type of work solely. So I'm prepping the background with uh, light colors and I will list all the supplies as usual so they will be in the description as well as in a pinned comment but yeah doing the background and then uh, drying it with the heat tool because I didn't have the luxury to let it air dry that would have been my preference though but I was pressed for, for time because I usually like to record my videos on Monday and then work on the edit throughout the week to publish on the Sunday, but this was recorded on Friday. Today is Saturday, I'm doing the voiceover, so I came into the studio today. Um, I had a Zoom meeting for uh, some finance stuff anyways, so might as well come in, which is another reason why this piece for me was not this particular piece, but the whole process of creating uh, thumbnails that look nothing like the final piece and shifting gear. Um, I have been doing a lot of admin stuff. It's tax time, I think, for pretty much every single country that I know. Uh, and I will also have to go through um, incorporating my business now so it's it's a whole bunch of different things that are new to me in my head because i've never done this before they're all complicated i do have help <laughs> but um it's very nerve-wracking it's scary a bit so to shift gears you know from being uh from dealing with numbers and questions and, you know, insurance things as well, then trying to find the, the proper, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspiration to become creative you know, on the spur of the moment or, you know, okay, now switch, <laughs> turn on, Boop, creative mode, activate now. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> Sometimes it does, but it very rarely does. Um, so it's, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's been tough, but um, we figured it out. <laughs> we pulled this off. I think I like I like what I've done. Um, I don't know why there was a part of me that didn't want to go back to this kind of painting. I don't know why. Um, because I like it. And I don't know. I had this mental block, I guess. Because um, I used to do it so often. Maybe it's Maybe I thought, okay, no, I've moved on. <laughs> I'm doing different things now and I should explore the new things that I'm doing. But um, I don't think I looked at it as a regression, no. But um, I don't know. Who knows what goes on in my head half of the time. <laughs> but yeah, basically it's fun. <laughs> By the way. I get this comment so often that I, I just love it. You guys are fantastic. But um, you call these my, well, I, I call them blobs of color. And so I find this terminology a lot in the comments. And that always makes me smile. 
because I did consider calling this video blobby trees. Because <laughs> they are. I mean, it's not a tree. I don't know what it is. I think it's a branch with a few leaves and some kind of dotted flowers. It's a thing. It's, you know, it doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to have a label, but it's definitely something floral or nature-ish. Uh, but it's kind of abstract a little bit as well. So Not abstract, no, 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 that's the wrong thing. Loose, it's loose painting. That's what I was looking for. Um, I hate the fact, though, that the lighting that I have, I don't know what went wrong. It used to be okay, but now I find that it washes off all my colors. Uh, You'll see in a couple of seconds, I'll show a clip filmed from my phone during the same session, obviously, and you'll see the, the right colors. See, they're a lot more vibrant than how they're shown with the overhead camera. I wish I knew how to fix. I, I, I mean, th there's a color correction that I can apply, but none of them we're improving the quality so i'm sorry about that you'll just have to go by the photo uh, the thumbnail that my lovely daughter put together at the beginning and the end i like i like this <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of um a lilac tree i don't know why maybe it's the color only but the little dots it's kind of delicate almost like dreamy like because some of the watercolor uh, dissipated and so you've got darks and lights I really do like it um, hopefully hopefully next week it won't be so dramatic like the creation of the next video won't be so dramatic um, of course, I introduced gold. Funny fact, um, in my sketchbook, I realized when I was doing the thumbnail for this week's video, which didn't turn out to be that one, um, that I did not include gold <laughs> in the mix. And so I wrote a note. What? No gold? No good. <laughs> it's very corny. <laughs> But it's, it, it says what it has to say. I mean, where, just to show you where my head was. <laughs> I completely forgot about the gold. Oh, um, a lot of people ask me about this signature. I get quite a few questions about that. This is basically CC uh, written vertically and the two syllables are mirrored so on the left hand side you've got that column so there's the cee -E. you'll see i'll add a, a little line in between the the last two c's and then on the other side it's the same just mirrored and then i just box that in so that's all it is it's not a secret code it's just my artistic or my art name that's how i sign my artwork um, did I mention I was going to put the supplies in the description as well as in a pinned comment? Maybe not. If I did, my apologies. But there's the final piece. Um, side note, the side branches that I added on the that piece on the right, I did not like. So while I was drawing, I did the artwork on the left. <laughs> Um, the colors are more vivid, so I like that better, uh, but I like both pieces. So there you have it. And there's my sketchbook a little bit to the left, and that's it. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Thank you, my awesome patrons, for supporting my art over at Patreon. And for holding the edges emotionally <laughs> uh, means a lot to me. And thank you all uh, of you for commenting and for watching the videos. Please stay safe, healthy, and creative. And I will see you soon.